in this exercise, we're focusing on directing the breath. So sometimes um, we won't see equal um, rib cage expansion and it can be postural. So whether we have like a rotation or a collapse of the spine, we can see this with scoliosis. So what we're trying to do is just expand the rib cage one side at a time. So it's always nice just to start with your nice diaphragmatic breath, expanding the rib cage, inhale, and then exhale, letting it go. So do two to three of those just to get the idea of that lateral expansion. Then you're going to isolate one side. So there's two ways you can position the hand. You can cross the hand over and just have the hand sitting on the base of the ribs, or you can use the same side hand as long as you have the wrist flexibility to do that. So right now I have my left hand on my left ribs. I'm going to inhale into the left side. And then two more. And then I would repeat on the opposite side. So again, I place the hand on the rib cage. Either way is fine because it could depend on rib fl or wrist flexibility. And now I'm going to direct the breath into the right side of the lungs. So a few things that you want to be aware of is that when you're breathing on one side, the shoulder is not hiking. We want the breath to go down and expand the rib cage. Yes, the other side is still going to have some breath go in it. It's just that we're trying to steer it towards one side. One side is going to be easier than the other. We're going to be dominant one side. But also you might experience some coughing, um, just as you're trying to breathe deeper into the lungs and you may not be used to it, it may just cause a little bit of coughing um, as you do it. Or you might also experience a little bit of lightheadedness. So take your time with you as you do these and then just three to five of each exercise.